So hello there and welcome to episode 13 of Hugh in London. I am here on set today shooting my first uh, UK TV show. So also today I'm going to be telling you the story of how I got my phone stolen last Saturday. So here I am standing in uh, almost the identical spot where, uh, where this happened. And I had my phone in my hand, this is my old American phone. I had my phone in my hand and I had just done a live video outside. I was doing my thing to promote the show I was playing to get people to come and see me play. I hope you guys are all doing good. And if you're in London, come down and see me play. Have a good night. And literally, uh, as I was standing there right outside the venue, the phone was snatched right out of my hand uh, by somebody on foot. It's a perfect kind of uh, uh, location actually for, for uh, an embassy. Very posh, very fancy looking. This is a thing that happens in London. People on mopeds or bicycles fly past, grab your phone and go. It's, it's, it's something that's been going on here for a while. Busy intersection right behind me. And this is the direction here in which the person took off running. Um, now I did chase him for a little bit and I realized you know once I got around the corner I'm away from the public area here and uh, who knows what could happen it probably would have ended in the confrontation so maybe he pulls out a knife or a gun and then I'm like my life or my guitar that's not a choice I want to be placed with so I, I immediately thankfully was smart enough to go hang on you got your guitar you got your equipment you got a gig to play in an hour uh, let's take care of that I was just reading the other day that uh, my favorite 50 Cent. Uh, if you don't know, I'm a big fan of 50 Cent. He talks about how when things go wrong or things uh, don't go according to plan, that he turns around and makes it into a good thing. Now this is a place where this is very unusual for this kind of thing to happen. Uh, and I gotta have a shout out to the, to the staff here in the bar because they were so nice uh, understanding and caring with me uh, considering what just happened. The next couple of days, uh, there was a number of occasions where not having a phone was very inconvenient. Simple things like I was getting up to go and do an audition on Wednesday and I, uh, and I had to, uh, well thankfully I had my American phone here that I was able to use as, as an alarm clock. So we are done filming for today. Uh, I will be coming back in a week or two to uh, do another day of shooting. But most importantly it's just um, to start just getting the ball rolling with booking TV gigs here is really important. I was, I was pretty calm, all things considered. Uh, to replace a phone, it's expensive. I don't really have the money to do that. But, uh, you know, as I said to someone after it happened, you know, I've still got my two arms and my legs, I walk and I'm able to play my gig. You know, the show must go on. Thankfully, uh, somebody, uh, a very great friend of mine, who probably won't want their name said, but um, very kindly uh, has loaned me the money to buy a new phone. Um, uh, so God bless you, you're an angel. The gig itself went really well. Uh, by the end of the night I had a lot of people up uh, dancing, um, singing, clapping along to the Irish stuff. Uh, so the gig itself went really well and they want me to come back. Then. Out of this test uh, came some, some, some good, wonderful things. So um, as they say back in Ireland, uh, Slán Lát Goodbye my friends, until next week. Boom!